I don't know if you ever saw on TMZ uh, the big headline, Dave Chappelle drunk on stage in Detroit. Well, if you saw it, I wasn't drunk. Uh, I had to smoke some reefer <laughs> with some rappers. Yeah. I don't know if you know anything about hanging out with rappers, but their weed is very strong. <laughs> Stronger than what I was accustomed to. The article goes on to say I was booed off stage, which is also incorrect. I was booed. I did not leave. <laughs> it was a long bump. Two puffs of weed, that's all it was. Two puffs? I never had that happen where I take two puffs of weed. I looked at the guy next to me, I was like, I'm gonna bomb, like, I can feel it. <laughs> and that guy called my name, Dave Chappelle. He was like, mm -hmm. You know, normally when you do a comedy show, you guys don't know what it looks like up here, but he's looking up at you like, That's how the show started. It didn't take long for the faces to switch up. Like, what the f I'm sorry, looking amongst themselves. So I knew I wasn't doing good. I don't remember what I was saying. Help me. It just took one person to break the ice. It's a black lady with a Ford motor shirt on. <laughs> Stood up suddenly. F you, Dave Spell. I said, excuse me. <laughs> she said, I worked all week for this and this show sucks. And in a weird act of racial harmony, a conservative white guy stood up and backed her up. Yeah! The whole crowd banded together and started chanting, we want our money back. We want our money back. I said, oh, shit. I snapped out of it. Good people of Detroit, hear me. Hear me now. You will never get your fucking money back. <laughs> Got it! Got it. I said, I'm like evil Knievel. I get paid for the attempt. <laughs> I didn't promise this would be good. <laughs> Boo, they said, F you. This went on for a long time. And then after the show, I felt so bad. I took half of the money from the show, thousands of dollars. I said, I'm going to give this to charity. And you know what I did? I bought $25,000 worth of bubble gum and drove around Detroit and handed it out to the homeless so they could chew it and still be hungry. I was very mad at Detroit that night because not only did I bomb, I had to go back to the very same room the next night and do it all over again. Fucking nightmare. That would be like if you were having sex with a woman and for some reason, this would never happen, but for some reason, she had a mouse trap in her <laughs> You get caught in a trap. And then you gotta fuck her again tomorrow night. I'd still do it, but you know, I'd be careful the next time. The old mouse trap in the Drop. trick, eh? Fool me once. <laughs> and I wanted to give up sometimes. I almost did give up, but then I, right, right before I gave up, I decided not to. But I made the call. I made the call. They answered the phone. Hello? Dancing with the stars. I said, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Oh, if you see me on that, it's over. Trust me. My spirit is broken. If you see me waiting for them judges, Getting critiqued on my cha-cha.